The king of rock and roll may have made his name with his catchy songs and deadly karate chops, but Elvis Presley's move to the silver screen was more than a marketing gimmick. Unlike many a rock star turned actor that would come after him, the king amassed a staggering 31 movies under his belt, proving he took his filmography as seriously as his discography. But not all of those could be hits. Thankfully, the Mississippi-born legend has enough Hollywood success to compile the top 10 Elvis Presley movies of all time. Number 10, Blue Hawaii. You know, you're right. And if I'm gonna make anything of myself, it's about time to get started and take hold of things. Why are you in the mood to take hold? The first of three Presley movies to be shot on the archipelago, and you know what? It didn't disappoint. There is something about Elvis and a sunny beach that make the visuals truly captivating. The Writers Guild for America had nominated it for Best American Musical, while audiences love for it saw it become one of the top grossing movies of 1961. Even cynical critics were impressed by Presley's musical numbers, so it was no wonder that the soundtrack album was nominated for a Grammy. Not bad for a gentle film about a young army vet who rebuffs his parents' wishes to work in the family business so that he can instead join his girlfriend as a Hawaiian tour guide. Perhaps one of Elvis's more chilled out movies, but nonetheless, one that is fondly remembered. Number 9, Love Me Tender. I ran into old Jethro down the road. He said Vance came to his place a little after daylight. Ken Cade's men were watching our place, so he sent Jethro in to fetch the money. Presley's first movie was renamed to share the title of his song, such a hit, in fact, that it was the first single to ever sell one million copies. Depicting Confederate soldiers stuck with Union loot at the end of the Civil War, it was the dramatic vehicle that Presley needed to hit the ground running. The story of fraternal relations turned sour under pressure of money, Betrayal and imprisonment saw to it that the King's acting debut would not be forgotten anytime soon. Initially, Elvis was reluctant to sing in any films so that he could be taken seriously as an actor, but when his casting meant Fox was inundated with calls from fans, they realized that giving him a larger role and song numbers was going to make this a hit. Even though Elvis would later regret conceding so soon to musical typecasting, the audition of his voice to moving image is what got him more exposure and job offers. Love me tender Love me true, all my dreams. Number eight, Girl Happy. Okay, relax, fellas, this won't happen again. Yeah? Yeah, because we're going to stop anything before it starts. We're going on 24 hour day guard duty. Elvis's 18th movie remains popular amongst fans for the lighthearted, farcical story of Rusty Wells, a nightclub singer hired by the venue owner to keep watch on his daughter's first spring break getaway, a deal he happily accepts so that he can enjoy his own sunny vacation. The mix of sun, sea, and songs lends itself to the narrative's gentle romance, while the necessity to keep his mission secret means Elvis experiences some delightfully silly escapades. Add to it some memorable tunes and a happy ending, and you have a solid feel-good Elvis flick. Though many Presley movies would see the stud strutting solo across the sandy shores, this film demonstrated his ability to play off his co-stars and develop on-screen chemistry. Number seven, Wild in the Country. I thought you were supposed to help me, man. Not, not, not rile me up like, like, a, like a muddy creek. Take my life and twist it into something you want. Not me, ma'am, not me. From school break to school studies, Wild in the Country was a more pensive, slow-burning musical which proved Presley could do more than dance and sing. Based on the novel, The Lost Country, and adapted by playwright Clifford Oditz, the story follows a troublemaker set on a corrective path after a near-fatal barroom brawl. Whilst relocated to a small town, he fights for his reputation when he finds himself falsely accused for every misdemeanor, as well as an affair with his own psychologist. In the end, Elvis's character, Glenn Tyler, fights for justice and, when absolved, departs for college to pursue a writing career. A much more melancholy musical, this nonetheless uplifting tale of redemption, self-improvement, and perseverance goes down as one of Presley's more internal movies, as well as showing us his more sensitive side. To me a little, say you love me love. Number six, Viva Las Vegas. Well, just a couple of three things wrong with your proposition. Oh? I don't work for anybody. I never run second to anybody. And one small thing, I intend to win. Grossing $10 million at the box office might sound like small fries by today's standards, but in 1960s dollars, that makes Viva Las Vegas a certified hit. This time, Elvis plays a car racer bussing tables in a Las Vegas hotel to save up for his new engine. 
In the meantime, he finds himself falling for Rusty, the waitress who had inadvertently caused him to lose his savings in the hotel pool. Despite their frosty introduction, the two go on to have a heartwarming tale of romance that sees a climactic Grand Prix, securing this film as one of Presley's most exhilarating cinematic finishes. It also showed that no matter what setting you put him in, or what job his character had, Presley could play it believably and, as far as the accounting books are concerned, successfully. Number 5. Loving You I don't know. It, it, it was a guy in St. Joe, Missouri one time told me he'd pay me to sing in his show. And then after I sung, well, he ran out on me and took my guitar with him. <laughs> Halfway through the list, and this entry goes to Loving You, a rags-to-riches story of a delivery man turned musical star. Elvis played Deke Rivers, a diamond-in-the-rough guitar player who crosses paths with fading country singer Tex Warner whilst delivering him beer. Tex sees potential in the young man, but Deke doesn't want to take a chance by dropping the only steady job he has had all year. Eventually, though, Deke summons the courage to pursue his musical talents and, despite some roadblocks like the mayor canceling his debut show, the townsfolk cheer on their local star and get the happy ending. This goes to show that sometimes audiences didn't want Elvis playing someone else, they wanted him telling his own story from obscurity to success. Number 4. Flaming Star I can't let you go out that door. Now look, we already had one fight. The first one we ever had in our lives. I won't lose this one. From small town to wild west, Flaming Star had critics agreeing that Elvis's portrayal as Pacer Burton was his finest performance yet. The story was a raw tale of peace and war as a mixed blood Pacer tries to broker peace between two fighting cultures, his father's Texan ranchers and his mother's Kiowa tribe. Elvis fought to have fewer songs this time around. It was important that the movie, and himself, be taken seriously in a strict drama. And seriously it was taken! The film's progressive yet contentious narrative saw it banned in colonial countries like Kenya and South Africa for fear of reigniting racial tensions, but years later, the movie has come to be seen as one of Hollywood's earliest steps into confronting racial injustice. Number 3. Follow That Dream Anytime some pretty gal stand around and bother me, I just close my eyes and I say one times one is one, and one times two is two, and right on through the eights. It's back to the beach for this adaptation of the novel, Pioneer Go Home, as Elvis plays Toby Quimper, the son of a family of vagabonds who set up a makeshift home on a Florida beach despite eviction attempts by a local bureaucrat. Easily one of the more whimsical feel-good flicks in Presley's repertoire, this story saw more comedy and slapstick than his other musicals. His performance, too, was heralded, with critics marking his improvements, proving that the king had dramatic chops as well as comedic timing. You know what? She says, what? I say, what? Oh, I'm not the Mary in kind. Number 2. Jailhouse Rock I don't find you nothing. Then why are you staring? I'm interested in the jukebox. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know about mechanics. I don't either. Musicals will always be the king's knack, so it is without surprise that Jailhouse Rock is firmly one of Elvis's best films, though many know of it because of the stellar success of the soundtrack. The song coincides with the release of Elvis's depiction of Vince Everett, who accidentally and fatally injures an assailant during a barroom brawl. But it's in the slammer that his music prowess is noticed by cellmates. Upon release, he pursues a career in music with all the highs and lows, including fame, women, and self-centered destruction. The anti-hero made the film scandalous upon release, and the profanity and violence didn't help either, but it was showing Elvis in bed with his co-star that really got people hot under the collar. Yet for all its taboos, it was a hit amongst critics and audiences alike for its gritty story, sense of fun, and of course, the soundtrack. Eventually, the film's cultural significance was recognized by the United States National Film Registry, who decided to preserve it in 2004. The famous dance sequence, for example, where Presley cavorts with inmates through a set resembling a block of jail cells, is credited as a prototype for the modern music video, but the fact that this routine was choreographed by the king himself just goes to show how many talents he had. Our number one pick is King Creole. That old Miss Pearson, she's the one that flunked me. Should have done it again this year, but I showed her. I showed the old man, too. The highest-rated Elvis Presley movie, according to audiences worldwide, 
Elvis said himself that it was his favorite role, and is it any wonder? The story follows Danny Fisher, a troubled youth whose singing sets New Orleans rockin'. However, a run-in with mobsters threatens to turn his new life into one of crime. The intertwined narrative threads of a tragic past, a bright future, and the possibility of love makes for a powerful drama. And a powerful film it was. A box office winner, a critical smash, and loved by audiences even all these years later. And why not? It was a winning formula thanks to its gripping story, entrancing performances, and, you guessed it, the Elvis Presley soundtrack. And there we have it, the top 10 Elvis Presley movies of all time. No doubt you will have your own list, so be sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get alerted of our next video. We'll hope to see you soon!